Greetings, international career seekers. I'm Dahlia, helping professionals to land the career that they want. And I wanted to come on here and talk to you because I keep seeing everyone doing this and really sabotaging themselves. And what I mean by that is that so many of you are so optimistic and I totally get it. I am a super optimistic person, probably far more optimistic than most. And um, I think optimism is amazing and we should all be very, you know, upbeat and very hopeful and optimistic about what's possible for us. However, here is when your optimism can actually be holding back, holding you back. And that is where many of you are still in this mentality of trying your best, right? We're all going to try our best and just see where we end up. And so many of you just want to, to keep, keep trying. You're just kind of optimistic. And I see this happen, especially with those of you who are a bit younger. And this, this really breaks my heart, just being on hundreds of calls with people who are both of a younger age as well as an older age, you really see how both groups hold themselves back in opposite but similar ways. So what happens with people who tend to be in their 20s is they, are, they often feel like they have all of the time in the world and they're quite optimistic about what they're gonna do. And they're not sure how they're gonna do it and, uh, and they're not sure, you know, what the best strategy is. A lot of you are recognizing that you're, you're kind of a newbie in this career world and you're not sure exactly how you're going to reach your hopes and dreams, but you're still very hopeful that they're gonna happen because you are young. And basically you're setting yourselves up to spend a very, very long time getting there, but you don't know that yet because you haven't tried yet. And so you don't, see all of the hardship that's going to be in front of you because you're not really using a plan and you don't really have that know-how you don't have that expertise you don't um you haven't seen what you actually need to do so on the other hand there's the the older crowd so those of you who maybe have been in a career already for 20 30 years and you tend to be more negative about where you're going and you tend to think that nothing is possible and you're just gonna be stuck for the rest of your life because you only have experience in what you have experience in and so there's no way to make that career transition. And, um, and that makes me really sad as well because you feel like your life is over basically and you don't deserve to be happy and that is awful to hear as well. So I don't want you guys to end up in either of those camps. If you are, you know, what you would consider young right now, if you still have this feeling that you have a lot of years ahead of you and you're still very hopeful, then that's amazing. What I want you to do is to maintain that hope, maintain that momentum and get yourselves the plan and the strategy that you really need to move forward and to make all of those things actually happen so that we're not talking to each other 10 years from now and you're going, hmm, I really thought I would be a lot further ahead by this point and I'm not. And then for those of you who are a bit older, who feel like maybe a transition is not possible for you, or you have additional obstacles because you no longer have time on your side, I don't want you to lose hope. I want you to have a beginner's mindset and to really, really invest in that next step that's gonna take you to getting the life that you truly want. Because yes, we all deserve to be absolutely happy. And in fact, we owe it to ourselves, we owe it to our others to be happy and to be making making an impact. So I'd like to know in the comments, which group do you see yourself in? And this is not always just about age, right? You have young people who can really feel that time is going fast every single day, every single year. And then you have older people who still feel like they have a lot of time and you ask them, haven't you been in the same position for 10 years and you've been unhappy for 10 years? And they say, yeah, but I, I'm going to make the change. I know I'm working on it. And you know, you feel like telling them, well, that now would be a good time. It's been 10 years, it's been 20 years, right? So it's not just about your exact age, it's more about how you're feeling. So are you feeling like time is abundant and you're just in the cycle of trying and thereby creating more struggle for, for yourselves? Or are you more in this mindset of, um, of, oh, it's too late for me and maybe I shouldn't even try to make a change because, you know, I'm already, um, I'm already, I've already given up my life and this is what it's gonna be from now on. 
which camp do you fear, feel yourself more gravitating towards? And of course, we're not always 100% of the time in one or in the other. We might have more days where we're feeling optimistic and like we have lots of time. And then once in a while, we feel that kind of push of, oh God, I'd better do something about this. And then, you know, vice versa. So it doesn't have to be all of the time, but which one do you find that you gravitate yourself which one do you find that you gravitate towards most of the time on most days? And how might that perspective of time be helping you? And on the other hand, how might that perspective of time might be, how might that be holding you back? So again, to take the example of the younger person who feels like they have all the time in the world, how are you thinking that you have lots of time and you're just going to see what happens, you're going to keep trying and therefore you're not getting all of the resources and all the support that you that you really could use that would really help you to go further and faster um, by being in that mentality of having lots of time. Are you willing to spend a few extra years on something because you feel that you have those extra years but actually it's not getting you to your goal as fast? Are you not reaching out to people because you're, you know, people who can support you because you're saying, well, you know, let's see, I'll just try this. And if that doesn't work out, then I'll reach out to those people. Or I'm not going to invest in a mentor now. I'm going to see if things work out and then maybe I'll do that later. Or I'm not going to go for that particular job right now. I'm first going to um, go for this job. And then we'll see how that works out and hopefully that's going to get me to the other job down the line later at some point in time. Okay, these are all just a bunch of examples I've heard before. There are lots and lots more, but I'd love to hear, hear your examples in the comments of how your perspective of time, the way you relate to time is either holding you back and also how it can help you if you treat it the right way. So looking forward to hearing from you in the comments and as always if you want to talk to me about how i can help you to accelerate you know like my program is called accelerate your ambitions if you want to know how to accelerate that how to really have a plan in place to stop wasting time and getting to where you want to go faster and also in a bigger way we all know that even if we are able to reach some of our goals it's never going to be in as big a way as if we had support on our side so if you want to talk to me check out my calendar the link is accelerateyourambitions.com slash apply and that's going to give you direct access to my schedule to see if there is a slot that works from you from there you're going to be taken to a very short questionnaire which is going to help us to prepare for our call together and that's where we where we can see if it's a good fit for me to support you in reaching your career goals and if not I will tell you and uh, and then what we'll do is we'll try to direct you towards whatever would be what's gonna help you the most and if so then we can discuss that and see how we might be able to work together but regardless you're going to come out of that knowing where you're getting stuck where your relationship with time might be a little might not be really serving you where you might be wasting time and where you want to take advantage of the time that you do have and how best you can utilize that time so that you can get towards where you want to go so looking forward to hearing about your relationship with time in the comments and i will see you on the next video take care everyone and have a fabulous day or a fabulous evening depending on where you are okay talk soon